Hello, welcome to PSE Connect Media and you are watching today's latest news. DMRC and NBCC signs MOU to collaborate on infrastructure projects. A memorandum of understanding was signed today between the Delhi Metro Rail Corporation and NBCC India Limited to collaborate on infrastructure projects in India and abroad. The MOU was signed by Dr. P.K. Gurd, Director of Business Development of DMRC and Sri Shalin Ahmed, Director of Projects of NBCC in the presence of Dr. Vikas Kumar, Managing Director of DMRC and Sri P.K. Gupta, Chairman and Managing Director of NBCC India Limited. Finance Minister Sita Raman chaired a session in Kevriya, Gujarat. Uten Minister for Finance and Corporate Affairs Srimati Nirmala Sitharaman chaired the session on the role of Ministry of Finance and Ministry of Corporate Affairs in the Amrit Kal in Gujarat. A free and frank discussion was held with 100 plus senior officers of MOF and MCA on how to reorient to achieve the Amrit Kal goals by embracing the Panch Pran as envisioned by Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi. PFC inked loan agreement with Japan Bank. Continuing its thirst to augment resources for the energy transition in India, the state-owned PFC on August 17 has signed a loan agreement with Japan Bank for international cooperation for JPY 1.85 billion. This loan agreement was signed under the long-term facility of JPY 30 billion provided by JBIC to PFC. The loan proceeds would be used to finance the 11.5 megawatt waste to energy project of KPC Gas Power Corporation Limited. IREDA signs MOU with MNRE revenue target set as Rs 4,350 crore. Indian Renewable Energy Development Agency IREDA today signed a performance-based memorandum of understanding with the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, Government of India. The MOU in alignment with Department of Public Enterprises DPE guidelines outlines strategic target that IREDA aims to achieve during the fiscal years 2023 to 24 and 2024 to 25. PFC organized RDSS workshop and interactive session. Power Finance Corporation Limited organized an RDSS workshop and interactive session on August 18, 2023 with senior officials of distribution companies DISCOM to review the preparedness towards the pre-qualification criteria under RDSS for financial year 2022-23. This workshop was held at India Habitat Centre, New Delhi and was attended by many senior officials from DISCOMs across India. DVC organizes HR Meet 2023. A HR Meet 2023 was organized at DVC headquarters on 19th August 2023. This meet was arranged to encourage discussion and interaction among the HR fraternity of DVC and to create a conducive environment for sharing insights and best practices and forcing meaningful connections with the HR community. A panel discussion on the theme importance of empathy in workplace relationship was hosted wherein eminent dignitaries from academia as well as industry participated. ONGC Videsh secured three-year extension to explore South China Sea Block 128. Navratna ONGC Videsh has secured a three-year exploration extension in the South China Sea's Block 128. The extension, which will run until June 15, 2026, is the eighth of ONGC Videsh in the block. The company's exploration activities in Block 128 have been hampered by China's claim to the area. However, India has maintained its strategic commitment to exploration, viewing it as a way to secure its energy needs and strengthen its ties with Vietnam. BEL's yet another step towards Atmanirbhar Bharat. BEL along with the Centre for Fire, Explosive and Environment Safety, a DRDO lab has energized the linear thermal detector used in the fire detection and separation system, marking yet another milestone in the journey towards Admirbhar Bharat in defence. BEL and Temsens today signed an MOU for the use of this technology to supply firefighting equipments to the Indian Armed Forces. Thanks for being with us. Like, share and subscribe by clicking the subscribe button. And if you want to say something, kindly put your comments down. Thank you.